Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, now just simply come back over here, click on this checkbox and click on this agree and continue. Now just wait and click on this activate cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just wait for that and click on this continue. Now in the description box, I will share one link and with that link, you can just access this document. Now what you have to do, just sim simply come on the task number one, copy this thing carefully, do not copy in extra space, just make sure of that paste over here as a bucket name for the data set name copy from this lab credentials copy this data set name come back over here and paste for the table name come back over here as you can see table name just copy this go to notepad and paste now for the topic id just copy this pub sub topic id copy this and paste over here like this now copy all this command at a time all this command go back to your cloud shell and run the command at a time and just simply click on authorize now you are done with the task number one task number two and task number three now for the task number four please pay attention first of all just simply search for the data flow api now in the marketplace you can see data flow api now just open this second new tab wait for a second and it's already enabled for us we have to just re-enable it then click on this manage option just wait for a couple of seconds and then click on this disable api and then click on disable now just wait for to this api get disable and it's disable now now again click on this enable now what you have to do just go back to the dashboard remove this api and here you can see data flow jobs open this thing new tab like this just wait for a second click on this create now just go back to your lab instructions come back over here now come on the task number four copy this name as a job name copy this come back over here and paste for me the region is us east 4 for you it might be different so just change the region accordingly okay so i'm just going to choose us east 4 as you can see now for the data flow template what you have to do just copy from here to here okay now just paste over here and click on this now just wait and other parameters will load over here just make sure that you have to just change the region accordingly or given a lab instruction page now just simply scroll down click over here and just choose this now just come back over here copy this data uh, bigquery table name copy this click on this browse option just simply search over here and click on search and now click on this radio button and click on select so you are done with the bigquery output table now just simply click on this browse select your bucket and click on select now let me just zoom in for you what you have to do over here just simply type forward slash temp like this and once you type this you can see we got a green tick now scroll down and click on this run job just wait for a couple of seconds and your job will be in running state so it's done now click on this job option and let's see now the status is starting just wait for a couple of seconds and just click on refresh and as you can see the status is running now please pay attention because this is very important part of this lab just simply search for the pops up open this thing new tab come over here click on this data set or topic name click on this topic name and here you can see message click on this message and then click on message publish message now in the message body what you have to do just simply come on the task number five copy this thing carefully make sure you do not copy any extra space just make sure of that copy this thing paste over here and just simply click on publish okay now come back over here and just simply search for the big query click over here then click on done now if you just simply come over here you can see this is your data set and this is your table name now what you have to do just click on this untitled and we have to just run one query let me just show you what we have to type just type select sele and you can see click over here now just type star then from now please pay attention just simply type the sen sense sensor underscore then you are able to get your table name so just simply click over here and you can see your query must look like this and once you get a green tick if you just simply click on run here you will get a result okay let me just show you for now i'm not getting any result but if I just simply come over here and click on the check my progress, I will get a score on task number 5. Unfortunately, if you are not able to get a score over here, most of the time you are able to get a score. But if not, what you have to do, just simply click on refresh, click on reload, just wait. 
and again click on run and once you click on run if you are able to get the output over here again as you can see i'm not able to get okay again if i just refresh you have to just do this step if you are not able to get to check my progress on the task number five again click on refresh and after a couple of time you are able to get the output over here before that let me just check the score for other other tasks and let after that we will see, check the score on and let's see are we able to get the output or not okay so as you can see i got a score 100 out of 100 okay now come back over here again click on this refresh and if i again click on this run option this time i will able to get the output over here as you can see i got the output and as i said lab take couple of time to update a score over here okay so if you just simply come over here and click on this check my progress you will get the score for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day